How you doing? My name is Brad. I'm going to show you a little piece of uh, Ancestry.com. It has to do with the um, DNA matches. If you've been doing uh, going through your Ancestry.com uh, DNA matches and if you have a, a big file you'll find that you have a lot of matches going down to just uh, a very small amount of DNA connection but the trouble is is if you're finding that it's difficult to keep track of the ones you've dealt with and the ones you haven't so what I'm going to try to do here is uh, just give you a few ideas of what I do to keep track of my process through this so first thing we want to do is go to the DNA connection page and uh, <clears throat> then go to the DNA matches section and this is all of the DNA matches that I have and there are many <laughs> and at first I was having a problem uh, keeping track of the ones that I had worked with so uh, you look at the unviewed ones and they all have this little blue dot in front of the name by the picture Now those are the people that you haven't looked at yet. But if you go in and look at that person, as soon as you do that blue dot goes away. And if you can't do anything with it and you go on to somebody else, you lose the ability to find the people that you haven't dealt with. So what I've done, you know, unclick that and go back to the main page that has all of them on there. And what I've done is I've created a group. So if over at the filtered by the list, they're heading here on the right side, there's an indication of groups. And this is what I've done. I put in starred matches and I use those for people that I'm working on and I want to return to that group. And then there's people that I've made the connection with and I have in my tree a connection in my tree all the way from myself to the person that I have DNA com uh, with. Then there's people that I have looked at that do not have common ancestries or ancestors that uh, I was not able to get access to their file, so I was not able to do anything. I put, I made it a blue dot in front of them. The connected ones, I've made a red dot. The no access, I call it, I put a blue dot. And if I was able, if I went into a person's file and I could not finish it, I put, mark it with a green dot. That way that I have some semblance of order. 
because of the fact that there are so many people in the DNA matches and most of them you're not going to be able to hook up with. They're just, they're going to be connected to you, but you're not going to be able to figure out how the connection is made. Okay. So, when you're working on your ancestries, or ancestors, to make the connection, the best way is to go into common ancestors. Now, those people are going to be connected to you, and, and ancestry has already made the connections. So, I mark those, once I've made those connections, I'll use my cousin here as an example. Opened up her file and I have been able to use, there's the trees, her tree and my tree. This, the ones in green are the ones that we have in common connections. And also on the left hand side of the page is the same thing. They're the ones that are in green on the on the tree over here. And you can open those at the bottom of each of those entries. There's a tab uh, connection and it says view relationships. So we click on that and this brings up how we're connected. Now, at that, I can, let's go back to, to this page, and we just came from this page, and look up here, it says at the top, you and the person that you're looking at, my cousin, and then at the right of that, there's a little dot with a tree signature in it. Click on it, and you can see over here my cousin's name. Now, if her name hadn't been in there, I would have cut and pasted her name into the into the entry point and it'll look into my tree for her name and then I can click on her name and it'll get a check mark by that entry. So now let's go back to the to the main page and we have common ancestors. Now you'll notice that at the right edge of her name, that little uh, picture of the tree with a check mark is beside it. That'll show you that when you go through these people, you see all these people have got that name and the check mark. And then you get down to this person down here. Now I've gone through these people and made the connection, the DNA connection through up through my um, ancestors and down from into her, down through her ancestors back to her. And I've marked it with a red dot. So I know that I've connected us, but it doesn't have the indication by her name. So open her up. Now we'll copy her name as it's listed. Click on that little button for the for the tree and then enter that name you just copied into the space and it'll and hit return and it'll bring her name up 
and you just click on it. Now it's completed the process and that button is now dark with a check mark on it. So we can go back to her name here and you can see that her name has in the list has that check mark on it. Now this is the way so you can visually when you're working on this file you can visually see who you have completed and of course you can see on the right side of my page here that I have many 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 of those connections made and all I have to do now is put that little structure dot that ancestry is made for us so we can recognize who we have completed our connection with there's two there plus that whole big list all the way up here these are all people that I have made the DNA DNA match connection with okay I hope that helps a little bit it just helps me so I don't waste my time doing the same thing over and over again it tells me I've already done it go on to the next one so I <clears throat> I hope that this little do-it-yourself video has given you some assistance there's comments you can make at the bottom of the page if you want to and if you're interested in other aspects of ancestry.com that I can help you with I'll make a video for you and anybody else that needs it to help you find your way through the ancestry.com genealogy page so thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.